Welcome to Deeper Dive. I'm your host, Connor Gilmore. Deeper Dive is a series that takes the legends and topics from the Paranoiacs episode of the week and dives deeper into them. This week, unidentified submersible objects were our point of discussion. These objects, as described by the USO expert Carl Feint in the title of his book, are UFOs and Water. While we focused on incidents that had occurred with USOs, this week on Deeper Dive we'll be focusing on how USOs and UFOs can be identified across multiple countries all over the world. Specifically, this episode is about the MADR-3 data node project. MADR stands for Multiple Anomaly Detection and Automated Recording. MADR-3 is the third iteration of the MADR project, which was originally created in 1970 with MADR-1. The MADR-1 system ran until 1992, where it was then replaced with MADR-2, which ran until 2014. The project was started by Francis L. Ridge, who worked for NICAP, or the National Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomena. Prior to this, Ridge had worked as the director for MUFON's operations in Indiana and was also a MUFON investigator. Ridge created the project because of his passion for understanding and documenting the unexplained phenomena that occur in the night sky. In an interview with Paranoiacs, Ridge said that he believed most of the unknown sightings that occur are actually known and that just a few of them are truly unexplainable and unidentifiable. While working with Matt R2, Ridge lost some of the passion for his work and began other pursuits until that passion was reignited in 2014. That is when he created the Matt R3 system, which is still operational to this day. Within one week of going online, MADR-3 picked up a truly unexplainable phenomenon, according to Ridge. The object was described as having a snake-like motion. MADR-3 is made up of individual units or nodes that are connected to a network that monitors the night sky and records any phenomena that are detected by the network's sensors. These units are purchased from NICAP by private citizens, and these people then connect their units to the MADR network. According to NICAP's website, the system detects anomalies by measuring barometric pressure, geomagnetic field readings, and registering heading changes by objects. The MADR units work by looking at background levels 15 times per second and recording data into a spreadsheet every 60 seconds. When the device detects an anomaly, the software algorithm puts the MADR data node into alert mode, and the device begins sending data much faster. This will then allow researchers to take note and place the data into a permanent log for future reference. There are currently 61 nodes connected to the MADR network, with 56 of those being in the United States and Canada. Four nodes are connected in various countries throughout Western Europe, and the final two are in Australia and New Zealand. NICAP says that ideally they need at least 100 units and are hoping to have them all in place by the end of 2020. There have only been two phenomena detected since May of 2018. Ridge says the difficulty that comes with UFO detection is distinguishing between a real event and a false positive or a known phenomena. The system has registered both earthquakes and lightning strikes as a result. NICAP and Ridge are working on upgrading the MADR-3 network with new node units. Some of these upgraded units, called Dedicated Roving Field Units, or MADR-3 DRFUs, will be able to work with other DRFUs in the area and create a local network within the larger MADR network, which allows for rapid monitoring and response by MUFON and NICAP research teams. MADR-3 is one of the new age approaches to monitoring UFOs and other phenomena, and is a unique approach to how the practice can continue into the future. This has been Deeper Dive.